Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we're diving into a hot topic for women in their 40s, maintaining a healthy weight. Now, we all know that in this stage of life come with some unique challenges, right? Hormonal changes, shifting metabolic rates, family demands, work demands, it's a lot. And with all the noise out there about weight loss, fat diets, quick fix solutions, it's tough to know where to start. But here's the truth. Real sustainable weight loss is about so much more than just jumping on the latest trend. It's about a holistic approach, combining exercise, proper nutrition, and overall wellness. So let's break it down. First up, exercise. And yes, jumping rope. And you should too. Jumping rope is fantastic for women in their 40s. It's a high intensity body workout that burns calories, builds endurance, and doesn't take a lot of time. Just 15 to 20 minutes a day can work wonders. But listen, while exercise is critical for weight maintenance, it's not the whole story. In fact, according to a study published by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, exercise alone might not be enough to shed pounds. What it does do is help maintain lean muscle mass and increase your metabolic rate. But to lose weight, you've got to pair with the right nutrition. Remember, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. Let's get into that. Nutrition is the other half of the equation. Eating nutrient-dense foods is important, especially for women in their 40s. Your body is changing, so you need foods that fuel your metabolism and support your overall health. Think lean proteins like chicken and tofu, healthy fats like avocados and avocado oil, and complex carbs like quinoa and sweet potatoes. These foods will keep you full longer, balance your blood sugar, and help you crush your goals. But here's the trap a lot of women fall into, focusing on restrictive diets that eliminate entire food groups. It's tempting, but extreme calorie cutting can lead to nutrient deficiencies. A study from the Journal of Academy of Nutri Nutrition and Dietetics found that women in midlife who followed a balanced diet with whole foods were more successful at maintaining their weight long term than those who follow restrictive diets. So don't fall for the fat, find balance. Speaking of fat, let's talk about some stuff we see on social media. The other day I came across this comment and it stuck to me. It said, and I quote, on my status, it's interesting that you have not mentioned changing your diet and eating healthy, nutritious home cooked foods. Exercise, jump rope, speed walking, etc., don't help you lose weight. Exercise and a good nutritional healthy eating plan together, that's how people lose weight. And not just using weight loss drugs. What happens when you stop taking the drugs? The weight comes back. Well, there's a lot to unpack here. First, I agree, exercise and healthy diet are keys to weight loss. But the comment dives into another controversial topic, weight loss medication. Specifically, they mentioned drugs like Ozempic. So let's clear up some misconceptions about Ozempic. A lot of people think Ozempic is a weight loss drug, but that's not actually what it was designed for. It's a medication developed to treat type two diabetics by helping to control blood sugar levels. And yes, one of its side effects is weight loss, but it's not a quick fix solution for losing weight. It's part of a comprehensive treatment for managing diabetes. But here's the problem. Because it's being used for weight loss by celebrities and, and, and those in media, it's becoming stigmatized. Let's not forget that people with diabetes have been using medications like insulin for years to manage their condition. Ozempic, like insulin, is essential for many people's health. So when someone says, what happens to you when you stop taking the drugs, the weight comes back, Sure, that might be true in some cases, but for people managing chronic conditions like diabetes, stopping medication isn't an option. It's about staying healthy and preventing further complications like heart disease. And in fact, a study in The Lancet found that people using GLP-1 receptors agonists like Ozempic saw not only reductions in their blood sugar levels, but also improvements in their cardiovascular health and weight management. So let's stop with the stigma and understand that every person's journey is unique. Medications like Ozempic can be a necessary part of managing chronic conditions. And for those out there balancing diet, exercise, and health concerns, keep doing what works best for you. Now back to balance. The best way to approach weight loss in your 40s is to find a sustainable routine. You've got to be consistent with your exercise, whether it's jumping rope, strength training, or even just walking, and combine that with a nutrient-dense diet. And don't forget about your mental health. 
Stress can greatly impact weight gain, so finding ways to relax, meditate, or practice mindfulness can help. Elevated stress levels can lead to an increase in cortisol, which makes it harder to lose weight. So in your 40s, weight loss isn't just about the numbers on the scale. It's about creating a balanced, healthy lifestyle that works for you. Exercise like jumping rope, exercise like jumping rope, eat foods that nourish your body and make time for self-care. And most importantly, be patient with yourself. Every woman's journey is different. Thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment your weight loss journey. And grab a jump rope and join me on this amazing path to fitness and well-being. See you next time. And don't forget to share. Bye.